Hello, aviators. Today I'm going to show you how to use the ILS slash Autoland in the Infinite Flight Flight Simulator for mobile. The first thing we're going to want to do is go to the map, select the blue button. For us, that's John F. Kennedy International. Go to the procedures button, select approach, and put the ILS for the runway we're landing on. In this case, it is runway 4 right. It will have the I and then the runway number 04 and then the R. We're going to want to add that to the flight plan. This will include all the fixes and the altitudes for the approach. Next, you want to go to the autopilot and select VNAV, vertical navigation. This will make the airplane descend to all the fixed altitudes we want without us even thinking about it. After that, go to the blue button for the airport again, hit the runways page, and go to the runway you're landing on, runway 4 right. You can see it says 44 degrees magnitude. That is the heading of the runway. Next, you want to go to the navigation panel, hit the CRS. I've already done it here. Set it to 44 degrees. We want that to be at 44 degrees because that's the exact heading of the runway. So we're not askew when we're trying to line up and land with the ILS at the airport. The final step in getting the aircraft ready for the approach is we go back to the map, hit the blue icon, go to the runways page yet again, hit runway 4 right, and then tap nav 1. That will tune the frequency 109.5 into the aircraft so that the localizer can be broadcasted to the aircraft and then we will be able to line up with the runway and land correctly. Now as you may see, the VNAV is descending automatically for us to 2000 feet at the waypoint slash fix Zetal Zulu Echo Tango Alpha Lima which is the first fix for the ILS for runway 4 right at John F. Kennedy International Airport. Let's pull the speed back a bit. Let's go to 200 knots. That way we can start getting ready to land and also put flaps at 20. Now we need to understand how to see if we're established on the localizer or the glide slope. On the left of the altitude indicator, there's a little rectangle with a green flashing arrow. This can be either on the top or the bottom. What this means is if the arrow is flashing on top, you are below or under the glide slope. If the air is flashing down on the bottom, you are above the glide slope. When you are fully established in the glide slope and perfectly on it, there will be a green diamond on the little white bar where the altitude 3100 is now. When that green diamond is on the white line, you are perfectly on the glide slope, which means you are at the correct and perfect altitude to make a stable approach to land on the runway. As you near the runway heading, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to disengage the LNAV and put in a heading of 10 to 20 degrees offset of the runway's heading. Our runway is 044 degrees. We'll put in around 050 degrees or 060 so that the airplane can turn and line up with the localizer. Then go back to the NAV panel and put the source to NAV 1. What that will do is, instead of putting the flight plan, it will put the arm frequency 109.5. That will be the primary navigation frequency that we're going to be using. Now the heading indicator goes green and there is a bar on the right side. This means that we are left of the localizer or the heading for the runway. What you want to do is now you have the intercept heading, which is 10 to 20 degrees to the right or left. What you want to going to do is now keep on the intercept heading until the green bar starts sliding in to the two other bars on the heading indicator. What that means is you are starting to line up with the runway. Then you want to go to the autopilot and hit the APPR or approach mode. You should see the localizer or LLC be green. That means you are established or turning to be established onto the localizer. There should be ALT in orange and flashing. And you should see a green diamond next to the altitude indicator coming into view. That means you are not yet established on the glide slope, but the airplane is staying at its present altitude and working to line up and maintain the glide slope. The green diamond is now on the white line and in the autopilot, the ALT is replaced by a green GS, which means glide slope. Now we are established on the glide slope and the aircraft is descending to follow the green diamond next to the altitude indicator. 
Congratulations, you are fully established on the localizer in the glide slope, which means the aircraft is on the ILS. And basically right now, if you don't do anything, the aircraft will land itself. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below and comment. Also, if you like my other videos, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten.